Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today we'll be finishing our series on the selection methods by showing you how to do advanced hair selection using masks. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here you can see I have an image of a girl and she's got some pretty wild hair going on. Now with any of the other methods that I've discussed in previous tutorials for making selections um, they wouldn't do a very good job of selecting this girl from the background mainly because of all these tiny hairs that she has flying around. So lucky for us, there's a method in Photoshop for selecting these hairs, and it is using masks. So to get started, we basically need to get a general selection of the girl. So I'm going to go over to the Quick Selection tool, which we discussed in a previous tutorial, and I'm just going to do a basic selection of her by dragging over her, and we're just trying to get as close as possible without worrying too much about being perfect. And once we have a general selection, you can see I zoom in here. Um, you don't have too much of the hair. I didn't worry about any of these individual hairs. Um, you're just trying to keep the white out of the selection. So I'm just going to hold Alt and get rid of the white that's in the middle here. And now we have a pretty good selection going on. So now that we have this, what I'm going to do is go to the masks. And you can get to that. I have mine over here. Um, it's already out. But if you don't have that, you can go up to Window and then go down to Masks to find it. So once you have that done, what you need to do is come over and click on this little um, square with a circle and it has a little plus and basically what that's going to do is add a pixel mask. So you're going to click on that and you can see that it's already cropped out everything that wasn't in our selection so it looks uh, pretty terrible with her hair right now. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to zoom in right now, what we're going to do is take and go to mask edge. And what that's going to allow us to do is really refine this selection of her hair and the rest of her body, but specifically the hair in this tutorial. So what the first thing you have in this uh, box is going to be the views. And so you can see that when I click through these, you have a bunch of different views uh, that you can look at this image for. But the bottom three are probably going to be the best to help you. So the black and white basically shows you um, a black and white version of your selection. Then you have the on layers, which is your final uh, version. And then you have the reveal layer, which is the original. So the um, first thing we're going to do is go to this black and white, and then I'm just going to click off of this to apply it. And then we're just going to take and drag up this radius, radius here for edge detection. So I'm just going to take and drag that up somewhere around the middle. And what you can see is it's already started to change how it views that hair. Instead of being blocky now, it's starting to find each of those little individual hairs. And if you turn on a smart radius, it's going to find um, an even better selection of those. So if we go back to our on layers, you can see that it's already starting to get a little better. So we're still missing quite a bit of the hair though. If we go to our on white and then our original, you can see there's a lot of hair that we're missing out on. So we're going to leave it on the reveal layer and then we're going to make sure that we have this little tool here selected that's called the refine radius tool. And what we're going to do is basically just try and highlight around all of the hair uh, that's up at the top. So I'm just going to try and get a quick selection here. and you're just trying to get all of this area. Now it doesn't matter if you get a little bit into the white, just try and stay near the hair. Um, but any white that is surrounded by hair you should probably go over so that it can add that into the selection um, and judge that it shouldn't be there. So we're just trying to get all of the little wisps of hair and it will be able to detect that it's different than what's around it. And so once you have a pretty good selection you can come somewhere up around here just to make sure you've gotten everything and we're just going to release. Now you're not going to see any difference right here, but once you change your view to say the black and white mode, you can see that we have a much better selection of the hair. And if you go back to the on layer mode, you can see that we have an even better selection. So I'm just going to click OK to apply that, but before I do, I can just mention that you have all of these other um, different options. You have smoothing, feathering, contrast, and shifting edge, which basically brings it in further closer to her head and then further out. Uh, depending on which way you push that and you can also de decontaminate the colors such as if you were using a green screen and there was a green uh, tint to the hair. So anyway, I'm just going to click OK and that's going to apply that and you can see that it added it into a layer mask so if you wanted to click on this and then paint with a paintbrush black or white you can add or subtract from what you already have. But what I'm going to show you is I'm just going to zoom out and you can see we have a pretty good selection of the hair there. And if you take and you can duplicate this layer, and then it really makes the effect work a lot better if you duplicate that layer and you can see that it added in a bunch more color um, that had been lost previously, uh, you can see right there. 
So by doing that, you have a pretty good selection of the hair, much better than you would get with other methods. Um, and I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Hope you guys can use this with your projects, whether you're extracting hair or extracting something else. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.